Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be sharing my what solds for last week, Monday through Thursday, which would be October 24th through the 27th. I had sales on all of my platforms except Mercari, so eBay, Poshmark, and Etsy. I did just start Depop, which I'm going to start trying to get I'm going to pick and choose some of my vintage clothes and put over there and see how that works for me. Um, but I'm still cross-listing like crazy into um, Poshmark, some into Mercari, um, more into Etsy. I, I let it get away from me this year and I wished I had more stuff cross-listed. So my goal for next year is to have even more in the other platforms because the more eyes on your stuff, the better chance that it's going to sell. So if you haven't been cross-listing and, you know, interested in that, definitely, I use List Perfectly. There are other ones out there, but if you choose to try List Perfectly, I do have a um, code and you get 30% off your first month for trying it. I think it's the Rebel Reseller, but Robert will have it down in the, the description of the video. I also wanted to thank Annette so much for the buy me a coffee she sent this week. I just love my viewers. You guys are amazing. And I'm I'm just glad that you appreciate, you know, what Robert and I have been trying to do here. So again, thank you so much. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. I think it's about 38 cells I'm going to share with you. It's been amazing. It has been an amazing, October was, I think the other day I checked, I was up 35% from the previous month, the previous 31 days or whatever it is they use. Um, but I, I did make a major change. I decided to, I've always, well, I have been recently doing promoted listing at 5%. I decided to increase it to um, the the trending or whatever the word is they use now, um, trending, cap it at 10%, but I allowed for an additional 2% up to the 10%, and my sales went boom, boom, crazy, crazy sales, and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy, you know, I'll take it for the next couple of months, and then of course we'll be back down into our than the norm. For me, usually January, like last year, January was my best month of the whole fourth quarter, even though it's not fourth quarter. So I'm hoping, you know, I'm going to have several good months. And in the meantime, we're still sourcing. We're still listing as much as we can. Um, really focusing on the clothes right now because of Depop. Um, and just see where that goes. I know you can list other stuff on Depop, but that's what I'm going to start with. All right, we'll start with Poshmark. Um, I did. I made two sales on there. It's just still not where I would like it to be. But you know, I'd need to put more effort into it. Um, so it is what it is. Um, this was a Disney Big Hero Baymax plush, 12 inch. Um, it sold for $10 on Poshmark. I just love Poshmark because they send you a label, you throw it in a priority box or bubble thing and send it on its way. Easy peasy. And then these Nike sweatpants. I'm sure they're vintage. They were red. Just very interesting. I almost kept them for myself, but you just can't keep everything. Like I am wearing... Something I found that I liked, made well. I feel, I don't know, I feel special wearing made well. And then I have a pair of jeans on that were like American Eagle, but they've been like patched and stuff. And I just find them, so you know, can't keep everything, but I do keep some. These Nike sweatpants sold for 17 I don't know if I said that. All right, and then this was an Etsy sale. These were Disney Pocahontas sheets that I picked up. They looked um, in excellent condition, just excellent. Especially the, the only wear was 
it seems like the fitted sheet always tends to have more wear. It did have, I think it was an extra pillowcase with it. Um, it was listed on eBay for a while. I finally got it over into Etsy and sold for $39.95. Now eBay. This is a vintage Toyland Camel Plush. It was one of those ones I had the dimensions wrong. So it was showing um, a really crazy high price. So I went and figured out what box I was going to put it in, got the dimensions down, and it, a couple of months still it took to sell, but it finally did sell. I took a best offer of $20, but it's a large 17 inches tall plush, um, and it was stiff. So there was no, you know, maneuvering it to try to fit into something better. It, it had to be a box that was going to fit it. This is an Eden Peter Rabbit plush, little, very cute, love them. It was from 1989. It sold for best offer of $8. If you're new to my channel, I don't offer free shipping. Um, so when I say something sold for $8, the buyer did pay um, shipping additional. So just get that out. These are... I, there was a point where I had tons of, I still have a brass to list, but I'm trying to pick a few every week to get them listed. Um, but I was doing really well with brass cells, and then it kind of tapered off, but I still get them on occasion. I don't have a whole lot still listed, um, but this brass cat and dog um, sold for $16 best offer. Now I picked this up not too long ago. Uh-oh. Not too long ago. It, um, I want to say I paid $2 for it. It's still sealed in the package. It was an Aladdin Sound and Story Theater cassette tape. Um, and then it had the two little figures. And I think you could build like this diorama type um, play set for it. It sold for $22.95. All right. Riders jeans. We find a lot of them. We usually pay two bucks or less. Sometimes fill a bag. We get a lot of them at thrift stores that are fill a bag. Um, and they sell. They sell. Not You don't have to focus on some of the big name brands. These are just nice bread and butter. Pay a buck or two at a yard sale. Sell them for $14. FAO Zebra Plush. Very cute. It You can't tell here, but... The arms and legs are one piece and so you could pull the arms and the legs would come up or pull the legs and the arms would go down. Very cute. Sold for $15 best offer. Glavalea. Don't know. Girl doll plush. I've picked up a couple of these. They're normally still bread and butter. Um, this one sold for $11.91. Manhattan Toys. This is all of the giraffe from 2016. Sold for $10.07. I get a lot of these. I pick up at yard sales and when we do our sourcing trips to the Goodwill bins. Um, so I don't have a whole lot in them. I think on average I say a dollar, but it, most of them are way less than that. Nat and Jules. I, I have a 20% off sale going right now on anything that was listed $9.95 or less. I'm just, I'm going to pick different price ranges and just kind of start, you know, giving bigger sales on them and see how much stuff I'm selling. Tons of plush at $7.96. And when you don't have a whole lot in them, that's a nice chunk of money. You know, I talked about this last year and I'm going to do it again by the end of this year where Robert went in and I, I want to say he picked $8.99 as the price. He pulled out all my information from eBay through the reports and everything I sold last year that was $8.99 or less paid my mortgage for the entire year. Put that into perspective. That's a lot of money on things that I sold for eight, you know, eight ninety nine or less. So, I think Courtney has a video out right now where she talks about, you know, she spent like thirty five dollars and was going to make like four hundred and some dollars for those items. 
So, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, I only, I'll only sell stuff that's 20 bucks. Well, I can find, you know, a hundred items that I'm going to sell for $10 before I find one or two items that I'm going to sell for a hundred dollars. Thai Pillow Pals, Carrots the Green Rabbit, 14 inch I just put out that video on tie. This is one of the ties that I do like to look for. They're called Pillow Pals. They're usually flat like this. Um, this one was from 1998. I picked up three of them. I think there was a green, a white, and a pink. This one sold almost immediately for $22.95. I think I paid two bucks each for them at a yard sale though. These are Gund Wishing Cherished Lamb Plush. Um, six and a half inches, so small plush. A lot of three of them. I just decided to keep them together. They were cute. Sold for best offer of twenty dollars. These these are La Lauren Ralph Lauren women's pants. They did have their tag still, so unused. I sold them originally on Poshmark. They they kind of were you know cotton blend, so stretchy. Um, but I didn't call them leggings and the person was not happy. She said that they were leggings. So when I got them back, Posh did approve a return. Um, so when I got them back, um, I added the word leggings, relisted them. They sold within two days on eBay. So it's all right. But I'm not very good with these, these pants and clothes. The clothing listings, you know, I just don't know all the different terms that they're wanting you to use. You know, when I get to like the leg types, you know, st straight, I can kind of figure out boot cut, tapered, you know, it just, there's so many choices on there. I would just, you know, it's difficult to fill in all of these item specifics sometimes. All right, this is a brown dog plush. He was um, by Dayton Hudson. But he was made for Target. He was a release through Target. Definitely vintage looking. I picked up two of them. Um, and this first one sold with the best offer of $10. Fisher Price Little People. Um, these were from the Highway 127 lot that I picked up. Bought a huge box for $95. Had There were two Cookie Monsters in there. There was tons of duplicates of many of the Sesame Street characters. This first one sold for $11.91. Soft Dreams, love that brand. I don't find it very often, but it's usually very cute, like nursery type plush. This was a little rattle duck. It sold for $17.43. Hug Fun, I have found several of these and I list them high because it seems like I was the only one on the listing at the time. Um, they're only like five and a half inches tall, but adorable. I think I have a like a brownish one also. This gray one sold for $15.59. This is Wonder Shop at Target. It was a knit stocking. I'm pretty sure we picked these up at Finders Keepers. The first time we went there, everything was a dollar and we bought 200 and some items that day. We've been back a couple of times and it's never been as great as that first weekend when they opened. I guess that's how it is a lot of times, but for $11.91. These also, I think these sold in like two weeks. These are Bass Weegens Black Loafers Shoes. I want to say we paid a dollar or two for them at an estate sale. Sold for $23. Echo Black Leather Ankle Boots. Echo is a good brand, but I have found they are awful for being dry rotted. So many times we pick them up and do the, the twist and they disintegrate. Just... These boots, and I don't think the boots sell as well as like the women's sandals and stuff, um, but they did sell for $20 best offer. This is from the Highway 127 um, lot of video games that I picked up. I want to say we paid $115 for a bunch of video games, which I've only listed a few, and I think I've sold almost all of them that I did list. 
um, and then four game systems, which I still have unlisted. <sighs> I'm going to get to some more. I've got a bunch of N64 games, but they're all like sports. And a lot of times the sports ones, other than that 2014 game that we all know to be looking for, they don't do as well. But this is Looney Tunes B-Ball um, for Super Nintendo. It sold for $39.25. I think I already shared uh, last week where somebody bought like eight of them for $98. This is Mattel Minis Popples Plush from 1986. It sold for best offer of $13. This is a viewer sale. Thank you very much, Sherry. Sherry's been very supportive of buying a bunch of monkeys and stuff from my store. Um, this was a white gorilla plush that I picked up at Goodwill here in our town. I thought of her when I picked it up and she did buy it. Best offer of $23. These were from the Hybrid online estate sale that I bought last year. Um, paid, bought a ton of stuff. Bought a bunch of these M&Ms. I haven't quite got through all of the M&M plush. Um, nobody was bidding on them, so I got large lots for 2 and $3. Um, these two sold for best offer of $8, and I still had another set of them listed. This is from the handkerchief lot that I picked up earlier, probably last month, um, bought a bunch of, I want to say like 80 some handkerchiefs. I think I paid 20 some dollars for all of them. I've sold several, I did several lots of like four and they were selling for like 13, 14 dollars. Um, but I decided to list this Christmas one by itself and um, it, it had significant stains on there, which I did put in the listing. Um, sold same day, I think I listed it for best offer of $10. This is a Boyd's Mohair Bear plush, very little jointed, four and a half inches when he's not sitting. Um, I want to say I picked this up at my favorite little estate sale, probably paid a dollar for him, sold for $10.50. Sesame Street. Love Sesame Street. These, I bought a bag full of Christmas ornaments. Most of them were Sesame Street. There were some Scooby-Doo and other characters in there also. Um, this um, ornament sold for $11.91. These are Levi's 311 women's skinny jeans. They sold for best offer of $13. These were from the high bid estate sale from last year also. These were the complete set of the Texaco Inside Out Anibals. They were Olympic um, series of plush. These were all still in their original bags. Um, I just decided it's time to get that stuff moving because they've been listed for over a year. It's just time to start moving some of that. I took a best off for $15. This is a Baby Joy Orange Owl Squeak Toy. It's funny, I was just watching one of Courtney's videos and she had sold a squeak toy, but I think hers had lost its squeakability. Um, this one was from 1973. It sold for best offer of $16. So don't pass up on those like rubbery vintage toys. There are collectors for everything, everything. I picked these up at an estate sale. They were all in a bag. I'm pretty sure I paid $2 for them. And when I started looking through them, they weren't in the greatest condition. There were several, I showed them down here in a picture with um, broken pieces. A lot of the extra broken pieces were in the bag. They just weren't stored properly. Um, I just decided to put them all out on my little spice tray Definitely a good thing to find. Um, you can get them at Walmart or Big Lots or something like that. But when you have a lot of littles and you want to be able to show all of them, I pull that out and take pictures. Um, still sold very quickly for best offer of $20.
This is Fisher Price Little People. This is from a set that I picked up here locally at a yard sale. I want to pay, say I paid $35 and there was some buildings and lots of accessories and people. These two sold for $7.96. Cloud B, love that brand. I want to say maybe Target Walmart, one of those. Maybe it's in more places, but I, I remember seeing them in one of those stores. Um, it is a Dreamy Huggins Hippo. It sold for $24.95. This was from the um, haul that we showed at a yard sale um, where I picked up all the handkerchiefs. I found a box. It was marked $10. There were six glasses inside of it. And no, there were more than six because I've got like a peanuts cup that came out of it. But I didn't realize it was the complete set of these McDonald's Collector Series glasses. I had opened them up and saw Hamburglar um, and a couple of the others, but I didn't open up all of them. And I was thrilled to find out. It was a complete set. They sold for $55.15. And then I had this um, multi-quantity sell. Um, the buyer sent me a message saying she initially, the, the doll caught her attention because it looks just like her daughter. So she bought the doll and then started rummaging through my store and found several things that she wanted to purchase. She ended up buying this Scarecrow plush, the vintage Bambi, the Unita doll, and a Fordlet Santa Claus. Um, and the total sale was $101.25. Now also remember, if you're a viewer and you go into my store and want to purchase anything, um, I do have a um, coupon code just for my viewers. It's Rebel Reseller 10 and you get 10% off anything you purchase through my store, but it doesn't happen if you send offers. Sometimes my offers are better though, so, you know, send me an offer. Usually I'm, I'm very good about that. And then this was the big sale. Now we picked this up last year. Um, I think when we first started saying, okay, we're gonna sell clothes. I think we bought two Honda jackets at one yard sale. I wanna say we paid 20 for one and 10 for one, but it could have been more. I do not remember. Um, but this one sold for $125 and the buyer has already left wonderful feedback um, for it. So, you know, when you make those big sales, you always kind of worry a little bit that, you know, there's going to be an issue, but luckily there was not. All right, I'm going to go run my packages to the post office, run by an estate sale real quick, and then get back home and get some work done. It's Friday today, but I, I don't plan on going really sourcing. I need to run back to one that I've already been to because I might have missed something that I need to um, for an action figure that I picked up there. It's always, yeah, you, you find something and then you get home and you start looking and you realize, ooh, I needed this little part. So that's what, that's what I'm facing right now. I think I would have noticed it even if I didn't know it went to something and would have picked it up because that's, I love to pick up the littles. And then I just, you know, figure out what it goes to and get it listed. Um, but I didn't with this one and it, it's a matter of something being worth, you know, $50 and something being worth a hundred or $150, depending on if I find it or not. But all right, get to work. Bye.